Hello friends, welcome back once again. I am here with another topic of grammar that is voice. Uh, actually, we have completed narration in four parts. Now I am here with some of the parts of for voice, and uh, it's essential for everyone. And today I'll tell you uh, what does voice mean, what is active and passive voice, and uh, what are the rules regarding grammar, or we can say tense change, in uh, uh, and what are the basic rules for uh, changing from voice uh, active to passive. So voice usually, what does voice mean? Voice usually means the subject, uh, what does the subject uh, perform, whether it's performing any duty or whether it's receiving. Uh, in If we say, if it's performing any kind of an action, then it's active. If it's receiving an action, that it means uh, it is uh, passive. What does that mean? The subject performs the action expressed by the verb. That means, look, I have given you the usage as well. When more clarity and straightforward relation is required between subject and verb. When there is more forward relationship between and straightforward relationship between subject and verb required, you usually use active voice and you tell the work is active and the doer is active over here. He is known and uh, he is doing the work. But when we talk about subject receiving the action expressed by the verb, that is passive voice, it means when the sub action is the focus not the subject when the doer is unknown. So when our focus is not subject, in active voice our focus is a subject, she is doing any work, it is the focus which is on subject she. But when we don't have focus on subject, when we focus on verb, then what does, what is that? That is passive voice or the doer is unknown over there sometimes. But mostly we focus on action. That's why it is passive voice. Now some of the basic rules, basic or common rules we usually use in uh, uh, accordingly. Uh, like ident first we have to identify the subject, the verb and the object because the basic formation of uh, sentences s plus v plus o subject plus verb plus object so we have to figure out in the sentence in the active voice what is subject what is verb and what is object then what do you have to change object into subject that means it is svo you have to change this subject over here so it will become v plus s it's not clear where what to get over here but obviously it will be interchanged it will get ovs uh, in passive, you will get obvious object plus verb plus subject. Put the suitable helping verb or auxiliary. In uh, all, all the cases, you will see that there is the need of auxiliary or there is the need of any helping verb or we, we can call model uh, models as well. Change the main verb into past participle. Now you should know the forms of verb as it is present, it is past and it is past a participle that means third form like sing is the present past is sang and sung is past a participle sing sang sung same is the case we have to change verb into past a participle form we have to change the form of the verb add a preposition by most of the times you'll see that if the doer you'll see by whom the work is uh, by whom the work is done you will see by and you have to mention the agent with this preposition change the subject into object as i told if subject will go to ob uh, place of object then object will come to the place of subject over here now that was that is all that means ov you will get ovs Earlier it was SVO, you will get now OVS. If both the, these will change their places, you will get OVS. Now, I have, we have taken an example. Samir wrote a letter. First, we need to just identify. Samir is subject, wrote is verb, and object is letter. Now, what we have to do? We have to exchange subject and object. So, letter will come here, object, a letter, helping verb, written it's past participle or v3 form of by preposition used and this is now subject so we have used o v s helping verb over here and this is preposition over 
here these rules were followed in this very sentence now i'll tell you how different tenses are uh, changed and how some of the tenses do not change so passive voice for all the tenses i have just changed all the tenses over here first of all we will take present indefinite or simple we usually call she writes a letter that means v plus o so a letter helping verb third form of verb by her subject so it becomes uh, uh, svo becomes ov s with the help of preposition past participle form of verb and helping verb present continuous or we call it progressive as well because it's progressing always so we will call it progressive as well so here you will see subject helping verb and uh, you will see uh, gerund form of verb and you will see object they are eating oranges so your object comes here here helping verb remain the same being we use in uh, this perfect or we are continuous uh, form of be form of helping verb be and uh, in the, uh, so that we get the perfect answer so being is used over here third form of verb uh, this is preposition this is subject so you have to figure it out now present perfect she has completed the work subject this is helping verb this is uh, uh, already third second or third form of verb this is uh, this uh, sub object so subject object comes here this is helping verb this is v3 this is preposition and this is object you should know that thing now past indefinite now we have skipped one tense i'll later on tell you that was present perfect continuous so now past indefinite simple or we can, we call it simple tense as simple past as well or we call it past indefinite likewise subject plus second form of verb plus object changed object plus helping verb plus third form of verb plus preposition plus subject accordingly subject will change he to him so it will change accordingly so now past continuous or progressive subject plus helping verb plus gerund form of verb plus object it will go to object plus helping verb plus third form of verb plus preposition plus subject again past perfect so you will see subject plus helping verb plus it is second form of verb uh, sorry third form of verb it is subject subject comes here helping verb third form of verb and object and preposition over here now future simple again there is one tense which is skipped past perfect continuous future simple or indefinite subject plus helping verb plus verb plus object object plus helping verb plus preposition oh sorry it's b it's b over here will be written by her this is preposition this is subject and this is third form of verb future continuous again i have skipped another future continuous now coming to future perfect subject plus will have as helping verb plus v3 plus object here comes object helping verb v3 preposition and this is subject now some of the tenses do not change like passive voice cannot be formed uh, for active voice of sentences which are from present perfect continuous we can say past perfect continuous future continuous or future perfect continuous these tenses can't be changed into uh, passive voice that was all about tenses i'll uh, take another video with all other rules of imperative other, other imperative sentences and other sentences as well so that was all in this very video hope you liked it thank you very much